Hello my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. If someone asked me what my top three favorite cuisines worldwide were, I wouldn't know what to say. From all the different cultures on this planet, how can I narrow it down to just a few? This featured recipe is a popular dish from North Africa. It's deliciously earthy and a good one to enjoy this season. Here it is. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my quick version of Moroccan kefta tagine. Mm. With mini sized meatballs made with beef and lamb and a zesty tomato sauce with fresh ingredients and seasonings, then topped with poached eggs, this is a tasty comfort food to try. So my friends, let's get cooking. First, we'll make the tomato sauce. As I mentioned in the intro, this is my quick version, but if you want to make the traditional way, I explain how on the blog. So here's a large can of San Marzano tomatoes and we'll gently crush them with our clean hands. I normally don't buy the crushed ones, but you can skip this step by buying some. Now here's our tagine, and it's important to always put a diffuser between the heat source and the pot. If you don't own this Moroccan cooking vessel, it's okay. Simply use a heavy bun pot, like a Dutch oven. Alright, so to this, we'll add olive oil and set the heat on medium. When it gets hot, we'll add onions, red peppers, and green peppers. In my case, I prefer poblano. We'll saute the vegetables until they soften. It won't take long, about three to four minutes. See, there's white, red, and green. I guess this dish can be served during December, although it's not really a holiday-ish recipe, but it looks good, right? <laughs> To this, we'll add pressed garlic and saute it for only 30 seconds before adding our crushed tomatoes, some ground cumin, then ground coriander, a little bit of ground sea salt, and the same with freshly ground black pepper. And finally, a touch of red pepper flakes. We'll stir until the ingredients are nicely blended and bring to a simmer. When it gets there, we'll cover, reduce the heat to medium-low, and simmer gently for 25 to 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. If it bubbles too much like this, reduce the heat to low, alright? Meanwhile, we'll make the meatballs. In a mixing bowl, we'll combine ground beef, ground lamb. Now, if you're not too keen about lamb, then go all beef. Followed by white onions, one large clove of pressed garlic, some chopped cilantro, chopped parsley, as well as chopped mint. We'll now season with ground cumin, mild paprika, and also hot paprika, ground turmeric, a little bit of ground cinnamon, and the two usual suspects, ground sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Now, doing it by hand, we'll mix the ingredients until well incorporated. You can use a spoon, but let me tell you, it won't do a good job. Next, with our wet hands, we'll form small balls about the size of a ping pong ball. Or like those small cocktail meatballs, you know? Just a little one like this, right? And then place it on the plate while forming the others. When we're done, we should have around 20 of them. Before we put them in, we'll taste the sauce and if it needs more salt or pepper, we'll adjust. It's important to do that prior to adding the meatballs. When they're all in, we'll distribute them evenly before covering and setting the timer for five minutes. A few minutes later, 
we'll gently rotate them and at this point, we might want to increase the heat back to medium so the sauce can simmer gently. We'll cover and cook them for another 10 minutes. When time is up, our meatballs are cooked. So the next step is optional but highly recommended. We'll place four eggs on top, making sure to not break the yolks. We'll put the lid back on and cook for five minutes. When it's done, the final product should look like this. Yum! <laughs> we'll sprinkle on some cilantro and parsley, then serve immediately with pita bread. And my friends, this is our Moroccan kafta tagine. This exotic dish is so flavorful. The combination of ingredients is simply amazing. This one pot meal is a great comfort food to enjoy anytime, but it's also elegant enough to serve at your next dinner party. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit! Thank <laughs> you.